Hi little ones, tonight we're gonna read the Frozen Forever Anne's Birthday Surprise. Queen Elsa was excited. Today was Princess Anna's birthday. Elsa wanted to make sure her sister's special day was perfect. Elsa used her icy powers to decorate Anna's birthday cake. She even created special ice decoration for the top. Figures of Anna and Elsa ice skating happily together. Relax, Elsa. The cake looks great, called Kristoff, who was hanging a banner across the castle courtyard. Come back this out. Elsa looked up to see wet paint dripping off the banner. They had started to prepare for the party very early that morning, and now time was running short. Are you sure I can leave you in a charge? She asked. Christoph nodded as Elsa dashed away. Keep an eye on the cake, she called over her shoulder. Elsa tiptoed into Anna's room and gently shook her sister. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's your birthday. Anna sat up and mumbled. It is a birthday? She fell back onto her bed, snoring. Not a birthday. Your birthday, Elsa replied. You've never had a really birthday before, so we are going to make this one extra great. As Anna jumped out of bed, Elsa sneezed. Just then, two tiny snowmen popped into the air, dropped to the floor, and scrambled away. Neither sister noticed. First new dress, Elsa said. With a wave of her hands, she created a sparkly new dress for each of them. She smiled. And now, for the present. Laughing, the sisters followed a long string that Elsa had wound through the castle, leading Anna's to different gifts. Inside a suit of armor, Anna found a bracelet. Inside her armor, she found an olive cuckoo clock. And on a balcony, there was a bouquet of sunflowers. Anna was delighted. Elsa sneezed again. More little snowmen popped in the air and trampled into the ground. The girls still didn't notice. The snowmen scurrying into the courtyard where Olaf was thrilled to see them. Little brothers, he said proudly. Anna and Elsa followed the string all over Arundel. Along the way, Anna discovered more presents, a family portrait, silk, stockings, even a fishing pole. Yet Elsa was sneezing more often, and each time she sneezed, more little snowmen appeared. The girls didn't spot any of them. Finally, Anna said, This day has been amazing, but I think you might need to go home and rest. No, the best is still ahead, Elsa insists. She led Anna to Oaken's shop where she presented her with one of the Oaken's beautiful heavy clocks. Oaken stepped out of the sauna and noticed that Elsa sneezing. How about a medical roommate of my own invitation? He asked. Anna accepted the bottle of medicine gratefully. I think we're going to need that. Next. Elsa took Anna to the center of the village, where a children's choir began to sing. Today is a special day. It's a Princess Anna's birthday. Elsa turned to Anna, and we love you, Anna. Achiha! More tiny snowmen appeared and ran into the courtyard. Christoph, Stephen, and Olaf tried to keep things under control, but snowmen were everywhere. 
Kristoff spotlights several little snowmen climbing up to the cake. He grabbed Olaf's head like a bowling ball and took aim. Incoming, Olaf called as he rolled into the snowmen, knocking them away from the cake. Suddenly, Swan let out a panicked ground. The little snowman had a knock Christopher's birthday banner to the ground. I will fix it, say Olaf. After he regaffed the letter, he gave a satisfied smile. All set, but the banner wasn't quite the same as before. Meanwhile, Elsa had led Anna to the last stop. There was one more gift hidden at the top of the clock tower, but Anna's arms were overloaded with presents and Elsa's cold was getting worse. Anna pleaded with her sister, Please, Elsa, you need to rest. Elsa wasn't listening to thought. She was feeling feverish as she climbed the stairs to the top of the tower. It's your bir happy birthday and my best friend, she sang, happy, jolly, hot, hot birthday. Suddenly Elsa lost her balance. Anna dropped the gift and rushed to catch her. Elsa, you are burning up with fever. We need to get you to bed. I guess I have a cold, Elsa admitted. She signed as her sister helped her through the castle gates. I'm sorry, Anne. I'm running your perfect birthday. Anna shook her head. You didn't ruin anything. Everything was absolutely... Surprise! Anna and Els stopped short. Christoph, Sven, and Olaf were all there in a courtyard, surrounded by hundreds of little snowmen. Everyone sang happy birthday, while Anna became a delight. Christoph's catch up in excitement, sang loudest of all, happy birthday, I love you, Anne. Then he stopped, standing by his own outburst, Anna grinned at him. Anna was still smiling when she tucked Elsa into bed soon afterward. Thank you, Elsa, she said. That was the best birthday present ever. Elsa looked up at her and, Which one? You finally letting me take care of you, said Anna. High on the North Mountain, not long after the party, there was a knock at the door of the ice palace. Marshmallows opened and Olaf led a parade of little snowmen inside. Christoph watched from the doorway. Don't ask, he said to Marshmallow with a sign.